Or car sharing service is expanding its reach to drivers in Central Florida. Today, Orlando City leaders welcomed Zipcar. The goal is to reduce the number of cars on our roads. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman explains how this service works. Two of the cars open to share are available right here near Lake Eola. The mayor today is saying this is just another welcome option for traveling around the city. The car sharing service is called Zipcar. Differing from ride sharing options like Uber, Zipcar lets drivers rent a car for as short as an hour or a day, gas and insurance included. We have been adding to our array of transportation options in and around the downtown area. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer says the service joins SunRail and Juice Bike Sharing as a way to easily get around the city. It also counts toward reducing the number of cars on the road. From what we've learned, each zip car that we put on the road reduces 13 to 15 cars off the road. So how does it work? Well, first you apply for a zip card through the company's website. Then after receiving your card, you can book your car through their mobile app. When you're ready to pick up, you just tap the card here on the windshield, the doors unlock, and then you're ready to go. Today's expansion brings 12 new locations to Central Florida, including Winter Park and Disney Springs. In Orlando, drivers have six options at their disposal. A car can be picked up at Ivanhoe Village, Orange County Courthouse, City Hall, Thornton Park, and two spots near Lake Eola. Two years ago, the city experimented with a similar car sharing service, but that failed. Today, Dyer focused on Zipcar's brand recognition as a recipe for success. You can be a member of Zipcar here in Orlando and use it in hundreds of other cities around America, so I think that elevates the program. In Orlando, Mark Lehman, News 6.